Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Leo. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Cross Watcher, please only claim this reading in a helpful, positive manner or not at all. Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for Leo, please. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Leo. Leo, energy is always fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Leo, sexual magic first up for Leo. Leo, somebody's jealous of a relationship you're in. Somebody's in the background watching. This person might like to eat a lot of ice cream. All right. Somebody could be 43. The seventh could be of significance. You might, you know, you might be a July Leo. Somebody's in the background watching you be happy. In a, unless you know you're doing this. Okay. And they're freaking jealous. This person. All right. Now, here we go. Somebody could be moving on from a relationship for some of you. Um, the third could be of significance. Yeah, somebody could be 33 here. We do have um, Virgo energy now. So, you know, this could be moving on to anything. From a relationship to a new relationship. Somebody could be watching you move on and they're jealous. Thank God, so what goes on over here? You also have Pluto energy. Pluto is Scorpio. So you might have a Scorpio around that's mad jealous or somebody that has that in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, you could be moving on to a new relationship. Again, the third. We have threes across the board. Three, three, three. Three, three, three megahertz. Three, three, three hertz. Pure energy of the ascended masses. You might have a lot of chemistry with somebody here, okay? And this is what the situation is. We now have Taurus in the house. Um, you might feel like domesticated when you're around this person, Leo. Like you want to cook or with this person. I'm not saying, you know. But, um, yeah. So this is what's, and somebody's very jealous of this. Yeah, because there's some kind of harmony in a relationship. And it could be a new relationship that you're moving on to. You have a lot of chemistry. You have a lot of harmony. And uh, you have somebody watching. This person could have Scorpio specifically in their chart. And they are jealous like a motherfucker, okay? Now, over here, you also have Venus again. So Venus again. This Venus is Taurus. And Venus is also Libra. All right? So let's see. Let's get you. Okay, let's get these first. Some love oracles. Uh, let's see. Le I mean, Leo. 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 Please and thank you, Leo. Be supportive. Okay? This says, make a genuine effort to show you care. Somebody might be 45 here. 45 reduces to 9. So the 9th could be of significance or the month of September. Show me, show me, show me. Leo, Leo, Leo. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Here we go, Leo. I didn't even see it come out. You have had faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So just have faith. Yeah, you know, don't worry. Spirit's got you. You don't have a choice anyway, right? I mean, yeah. The 12th could be of significance. Or again, three. Threes are very significant. You start seeing, you know, uh, repetitive threes all over the place. You know that that's your confirmation, Leo. So now we have the 16th could be of significance. Or the 7th. Somebody might be 61 here. So July might be of significance again, right? Uh, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Turn on your heart light. Oh, I'm hearing turn on your heart light. So, so maybe something about E.T. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. Yeah, remember the real love. Real love. I'm working on that true love. Okay, so you ready? Here we go, Leo. Let's see what the tarot has to say for Leo. All right. Anything else? What else we got up here? For Leo? Oh, okay, so now we have the one. All right, so listen, here we go. Oh, look, there's two cards. Okay, so here we go. Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of single, single and successful. The Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. The Nine of Pentacles talks about some kind of financial gain, luxury, material and financial security, you know, reaping the rewards of all the effort and hard work that you put in at the Eight of Pentacles, usually by yourself, right? Now, let me see what's going on here. Okay, you have a King of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this person is very fair and balanced and very clear thinking. You might have to you might have to really use your head over your heart in making a decision. You might want to stay single here if that's your situation, okay? Uh, somebody's got a poodle. I'm seeing a poodle. All right, so listen. Here's the situation. At the foundation of this situation, there was a loss. It could have been the loss of a job. It is the five of pentacles or loss of some kind of finances, uh, 
money could have had some kind of situation, you know, like it was involved in this somehow, some way. All right. Um, with the five of pentacles, we are talking about an energy of poverty, isolation, maybe some ill health, but also, you know, yeah, definitely financial ramifications. But you might have had to leave somebody out in the cold or somebody might have left you out in the cold as well. All right. It's the five of pentacles. I mean, yeah. It's a poverty and a loss on any level, which will be individualized for you. Show me what's crowning Leo. So you took some kind of loss, Leo. People might have saw you. People might have been watching you do this. Like, people might have. In the meantime, right now, you know, either supporting you or challenging you is that you're going to have to really be very fair and balanced and clear thinking and use your head over your heart. You know, maybe it with something to do with your finances or sharing your finances. Somebody likes those little candy corns. Wow. Okay, so you got the chariot in reverse. Um, cancer energy. There could be some kind of block or some kind of obstacles you need to get over here. Somebody might have some aggression, especially if you left their ass out in the cold. If this is a financial situation, like the block or obstacle be like, I need to go find a job, you know, to make some money. Something like this. Also, a lot of you might have some kind of vehicle issues or travel issues might be delayed or canceled. Show me. Woof. Got the magician. Okay, so it came in right on the shelf. I have to acknowledge this. This is Gemini energy, all right? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Upright, the magician is somebody who takes a lot of uh, willpower and skill, and they turn their dreams into reality, right? They do the work. They're the alchemist. They're the magi, okay? Upside down, somebody's got some kind of, you know, hidden motives, or they're very manipulative, or they could be cunning. You know, someone could be greedy. They could be very, like, somebody might lack mental clarity. Somebody might be on drugs here. Somebody might be doing drugs. So somebody, you know, is on the struggle bus with this. Somebody might not lack a lot of clarity in a situation, but and they might be manipulative, and they might be trying to manifest what's best for them, you know, obviously for themselves, but, you know, it's a very selfish energy. Also, somebody might be hooked on some kind of drugs. See, like a white powder. So, you take that for what it's worth. Somebody might be named Russell here. Russell, I'm seeing Russell. Okay, you got an eight of wands. Okay, so something's going to take off rapidly forward. This is rapid forward movement. So, for example, let's just say somebody is dibbling and dabbling in drugs. In no time at all, you're going to be hooked and going buck wild. Oh, God, buck wild. Um, eight of wands. Eight of wands is about some rapid forward movement. So maybe if you're trying to manifest something and on the struggle bus with that, that's about to take off rapidly, okay? Something's about to take off rapidly here. That's the eight of wands. Some kind of quick change, all right? Some kind of, you know, maybe speed or action in a situation. Over here, in the actual environment right now, there is some quiet time. So that could be the thing. You might be spending some time alone, recuperating, healing, contemplating your next steps forward, and it's quiet right now, and then all of a sudden, bam, <laughs> there's a lot of action, maybe travel, you know, maybe if you had some kind of delayed travel plans or some kind of vehicle issues here, now this is going to be, um, yeah. Show me. Somebody might, might like archery here. Okay, so look at this. You know how, this is what spirits advise you, the king of wands. Leo, you are the king of wands. That's your card. Seated in your power, on your throne, very confident, very optimistic, taking control of the situation. Spirit wants you to just be you. Be true to yourself. Be who you are. So this way you can control this situation. So make sure you're using your head over your heart in any kind of situations. And, you know, with what maybe that you want to share with. Especially if you're dealing with some kind of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus. Or some kind of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising of Venus. Alright? Show me what the most likely outcome for this is for Leo. Leo, Leo, please and thank you, Leo. Alright, Leo. The most likely outcome for you is... Oh, so there's the tower in reverse. Somebody's going to try to resist change here. Someone's delaying something, all right? Because, you know, this could be you or somebody else. Because they don't want to change something in the situation. They fear change. They resist change. They're stagnant. Scorpio energy again. This could be the person that's maybe, you know, jealous. They don't want something to change. Maybe you're leaving this person for another person and this person's not happy about it. I can tell you that right now. Somebody could be 45 here or 47. I'm getting uh, uh, the 16th. That reduces to 7 again. So again with the 7s, you're attracting a lot of abundance. Something can be very significant about July. Besides some of your birth. Look, 7 again. I'm telling you. 7, 7, 7, 7. So here you go. Uh, you know, with the 7 of Wands, you somebody might be being a little stubborn here. And, you know, maybe very 
persistent. Maybe that you feel like you have to defend yourself. There could be some kind of competition in this situation. You might need to stand your ground. All right, there's some kind of new opportunity here. You got the Ace of Wands. There's going to be some kind of new passionate opportunity. Something's going to give you a lot of enthusiasm. It could have something to do with an Aries. Uh, there's some kind of transformation here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's the Emperor. Um, this is a very dependable, stable energy. It could be a father, father figure, but something's about to take control. All right. If it looks like you're going to bump into somebody that has Aries in their chart, and uh, it's going to turn into something really passionate. Well, you know what, Leo? Aries and Leo are supposed to be the best signs together. I don't know if it's true, but there is going to be some kind of transformation here, though. Somebody's about to say, just like, fuck it, and really put some effort in. So this is a wish come true. You got the star, Aquarius energy. This is you, The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor, and it's a new emotional awakening. Look at this. You got, Wow, what the hell is going on here? Look, somebody might right now be, you know, standoffish or feel like there's a lot of competition in the situation, right? Maybe you have to be persistent persistent in some way. It could be in any way, right? Maybe to get this energy moving, this stagnant energy moving. You have the Ace of Wands, some kind of new passion, some kind of fire, some kind of match getting under your ass of energy and inspiration and enthusiasm. Now, maybe you're going to take control of the situation here with the Emperor. Like I said, somebody might, somebody might, somebody might like to, you know, dabble in drugs here. Somebody might be taking pills. Somebody might be sniffing shit. I don't know. It's not good, though. But anyway, there's going to be a transformation here to a situation. The 13th could be of significance. The 35th. Yeah. Okay. Or that, yeah, that's four. Something could be significant about this coming April, okay? Maybe this transformation is going to take place in April. Somebody's going to put a lot of work and effort into something here with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? It's a solid energy of somebody that's going to be committed and, you know, dedicated. And it really looks like, here, look at this, with the star here. I mean, you have it. You have the star here. You have, um, you know, hope for your future, a wish being granted, healing. There's healing here. The Wheel of Fortune's turning in your favor. It's a new opportunity here for emotional awakening, new love coming in, but with a new solid foundation, okay? There's a new solid foundation attacked, attacked, attached to this. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, you got this. There's a truth coming out. Look at this. You got the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, I can't believe this reading. I don't know who you are, but Leo, God bless you, all right? This is going to turn out really good for you. You got, you. got It's culminating in the Ten of Pentacles, all right? So, let me see. I'm going to give you some of these, which are the moon phases or other signs that you might have to be, you know, aware of. Something, something significant about the Ninth. I'm getting 11 over here. So the 11th could be of significance, or the 2nd, the 17th, uh, or the 6th, the 13th, or the 4th, or again, April. That is Aries. Somebody's just about to say fuck it and like go for something that's really, you know, some kind of healing, some kind of wish come true. You know, so whatever decisions you make, it's going to work out. Your luck is turning. This is a turning point in your luck. And it looks like whatever this turning point is, you're going to get a solid foundation of maybe some kind of, you know, finances or resources that will be abundant for you in the future or even now. And it's something that, you know, it's really, it's a lot of love. I mean, it's, you know, look what you have. You have the Ace of Wands, right? Oh, look at this. Shit. Aries. I mean, Leo. I mean, oh my God. So, oh my God. Look, you got the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. The truth is coming out about some kind of passionate something here. Okay. And what it's all going to culminate to here is the Ten of Pentacles. Seriously. All right, because it's, luck is on your side. Look, you have the star and the wheel of fortune here, right? And something's about to transform in your life, big time. I mean, this is this is amazing is what this is. I can't even believe this. And Leo, I got to tell you, you're like my least people to watch. I feel sorry for people that aren't going to get this message. Just make sure you're staying very fair and, and you know, with the uh, king of swords, that's somebody that is, is very honest, very perceptive, very articulate, and, and fair, okay? So, last quarter moon in Leo, lighten up. Lighten up. Here we go. We have new moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Show me. So you can be dealing with a Taurus. Have Taurus in your chart. And just, you know, never doubt yourself, Leo. Never. Here we go. You also have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. I feel like a lot of you are doing this. And you're stepping into all these new beginnings here. You have all aces. Those are all solid beginnings. Okay? So leave the past behind is right. Just let it go. Let it go. You have Capricorn energy now. Some of you might have this in your chart. Like this new solid beginnings with all this earth energy. Show me. Show me Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. I'm, you guys are like the least watched and it's turning out to be the longest video. Full moon in Taurus. Again with the Taurus. Detoxify. So any of you, if you are dabbling in any kind of drugs, before it gets to be a serious issue, detoxify your, yourself now. Detoxify your body. Detoxify your mind. Detoxify your life. Yeah, talk less and feel more. 
last quarter moon in Pisces. Leo, I don't feel like that's a thing for you because most Leos really do not over talk too much. You know, they really don't. They're, you guys are very quiet, male, female. I say guys, you know what I mean? All of you. Um, I left you before you could leave me. So that's what somebody did here. And listen, you will be together again, you and somebody here, okay? And that could be your wish come true when you're healing. You could be healing this with somebody, healing something with somebody. Told you all the signs that you had, and uh, here you go. You and I were too young. So it could be a situation where maybe you guys just needed to, you know, go out and, um, yeah, there is a new beginning here. Look at this. Some of you might be a little standoffish. Some of you, it's going to make you very happy. Look at this. And you might get into some kind of contractual obligations with the Hierophant here. Maybe date traditionally. Somebody likes to eat french fries. That makes them very happy. And someone was very grateful for the spiritual lesson. Now let me just get you a couple of letters, Leo. We love you. We're sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, here, let's do this. Your letters are... Let's get a couple more. I gypped you guys. Okay, you have L. You have N. You have T and G. You have two Gs. You have R. Mm -mm. Two Ns. Hold on a minute. Two Gs. Two Ls. Something's wrong with somebody's tires. Somebody needs to check their tires. Okay? Something about your tires. Okay, so you have a lot of doubles. I feel like a lot of you are getting in some kind of a relationship, you know, some kind of double situation. Doubling up here. Okay. Um, all right. You ready, guys? You have two N's, two G's, two L's, uh, two S's. You have F, R, T. Two I's, E, and an O. Thank you so much, Leo. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and trust in God, karma is real. And until next time, love and light and laughter.